Hi YouTube, Roy Marco with Marco Custom Models. Come to you with something a little different today because it's a model that um, it's uh, it's unique in the sense it's customized with a, a newer Chevy truck box on the back. You might have seen this done before. Um, and anyway, what's different about this is it's not my model. It's actually my 10 year old nephew who's uh, putting it together. We're hanging out together during this uh, lockdown and uh, we're just building some models so uh, this was his sort of creation he's had in mind for a little while uh, the box was salvaged from a kit that was built before so it had some paint on it that we had to strip off and and was missing some pieces and so we we're working with um, what we got so it started out with a 72 fleet side truck uh, model kit that's quite common as a, it's a long box and then uh, I had a, another shorter chassis out of the step side truck that I could shorten the chassis but we decided just to go ahead and use one of those and I'll shorten another one and uh, the box is out of the 1991 Chevy uh, kits that had the step side and we didn't have the rest of the truck just the box no tailgate so that's why it ended up getting this tailgate here which has the feature like the old truck and I narrowed it, cut a little section out for him, and then sanded it, things like that, put it in. We're going to use the old style truck bumper, which I'll show you. And let's uh, talk about some of the details. One of the things uh, I had to do is take all the molding off the side of the box and the cab. It has all that chrome. We're going to just do a smooth side. The uh, interior we're going to do black with some uh, highlights, which we haven't done yet. And uh, the dash uh, is going to be the body color which these trucks are and then we have to do all the details in the dash pad so that'll be on the on the update we'll have this updated for you so that's the color the truck he wants to go with which is red we have a back bumper here which we ended up sort of using the old bumper which will sit like that i think that'll kind of look neat give some of the old with the new so that uh it's going to go on the back of the truck and to make the box fit you can see that um put some styrene here just to give it the right height that fits on the bottom as you can see this box was all glued before and uh, we tried to make it the best we could um, the inside has some dents I mean a guy could work some of that out but that's okay it'll be have a little bit of realism to it okay there's the box and then um, the truck cab and build is pretty straightforward there's the cab I'm gonna just pop the hood off Set that there. There's under the hood. We got the engine here. It's a small block Chevy 350. And uh, yeah, so I was helping him. Like I said, we filled in the front corner markers and smoothed out the cab. Take the cab off here. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. And then uh, oh, also one of the things that I did too was fill in. There's a couple of lines here on the back. You can see on the inside. Put some styrene in here. So when you put the box on like that you don't see the the lines coming up so that's just sort of one of the things that I helped them do and then the chassis pretty straightforward uh, being that the engine was out of the other kit and things like that the transmission didn't quite line we had to cut a little bit off and of course the exhaust didn't quite line up but uh, did a little bit of dry brushing there and made some aluminum exhaust tips to fit on the plastic there it's kind of neat they're hollow and look nice the wheels came out of the camaro kit that was a fast and furious release i think it came with two sets of wheels so we uh, put those on there and then the engine is just painted up small block chevy anyway uh we'll get this truck finished okay so here's some um pictures of the truck in primer and with a little bit of paint going on on the underside Looks like it's in a body shop getting ready for paint here. And uh, another shot of it here. Okay, and here's the finished model. So here's the uh, all painted up. You saw it there in primer phase and then uh, through the paint process and now it's all painted. So the paint that I use, this uh, Premier Red, was that Canadian Tire in the uh, home paint section so I just rattle can this truck and I used a primer from the same company and it was one on top of primer gray and it was three coats so one light coat to get like a tack coat and then I let that kind of set up and then do a little bit of a wet sand and then let that dry and then uh, did a coat with 
like a five minute in between and then did a nice coat on top of that and that's where it is so that's uh, how I did that I put on a Chevy decal here from a new a newer kit 99 I went through my decal box and found a cut up decal sheet from a 99 Silverado and I used a few decals from that I used the license plate decals out of it the uh, Chevy decal, decal on the back uh, tailgate as well as the uh, decals on the fenders here the 1500 and other than that it's uh, pretty well straightforward here's a picture of the uh, dashboard and interior before I installed it and that's the uh, the dash is painted body color at the uh, glove box and the gauges there and it's a sport wheel from like a 67 Chevelle uh, EMT kit and finish that off with the steering wheel there so that's it yeah, like I said this is a uh, build for my uh, 10 year old nephew we just he's hanging out for a few days here and uh, we just put it together there was a kit that he had some pieces like I said the box was uh, off a kit that was already put together and, and somebody had heavily glued it and painted it we stripped the paint and uh, brought it back to this that tailgate is uh, built from the uh, a 72 tailgate that we narrowed down and uh, put in there and then we use a stock bumper on the bottom here and uh, from the old truck you see the tailpipes just dipping down there. The only thing I regret on this truck is uh, I built, I should have filled in, and I didn't realize this until after I'm kind of putting the decals on, looking at it, going, oh, I should have either taken the cap off for the fuel tank that's inside the cab or filled in the gas door for the box because it looks kind of silly having two, uh, two fuel ports there. But, hey, let's just say this is uh, some, uh, you know, some guy who just threw his truck together. He got a new box on an old... Uh, Long box that he cut down and built himself a little hot rod for driving around. So, unfortunately, I got the gas door here as well as the gas cap there. And I would have filled in the gas door and just kept the gas cap, but it uh, depends on what kind of truck you're building. So, anyway, under the hood, let's see if I can get this hood open on here. It's uh, pretty basic. It's just all painted up. You got the rad painted there and the battery. Like I said, if you like this video, it's just a little truck that, you know, somebody put together. Uh, you see these uh, sometimes at car shows. It's a little dated. I don't know if people are still doing them now. But uh, anyway, it's uh, it's kind of an interesting vehicle. It's kind of neat. I don't think I've ever seen very many models of it done. So I just thought I'd uh, show it to you. So if you like, please subscribe. Hit that uh, thumbs up and uh, note, uh, the bell for notifications. And have a great day.